market. Now, there's a Camry company recently. This made the news over on Fuji Rumors. Oh, my, I don't understand. I can't tell you what Camry company that it is, but they're suing a lot of people for selling gray market products. Now, it has been stated on this website that uh, a certain Camry company has said that gray market products are not the same. Well, this is, in fact, a lie, okay? Well, obviously, there is not the same USA paperwork and warranty inside, nor am I not advocating in this video anybody buy gray market. However, I've always been advocating buying gray market. This video specifically, I'm not going to advocate that, even though I advocate buying gray market all the time. Gray market is the exact same crap. Any company or individual that tells you that gray market is like different crap, they're liars, okay? In any camera company, there's not like, well, this is the crap we're going to make. We're going to make this X model of camera for United States and this model. It's going to be the same model except this is for like Asia and Europe. That stuff does not go on. That's, that, you know, that ridiculous does not exist. So there's been a certain blog or website that has quoted a certain huge camera company. <laughs> Uh, it says that the camera is not the same, and that is a a lie, a stinking lie. Absolutely not true. Um, I always advocate buying gray market lenses, especially if they're good ones. Uh, I never recommend anybody buy a Sigma lens for countless thousands of reasons. Well, not thousands, but at least a hundred reasons why not to buy a Sigma lens. Um, but there's no difference in a gray market camera or lens. Any company, is what it's going on, and this is a big issue for the companies, is that they have distributors, and they have representatives, and they have salespeople. And when Joe Schmuck on Los Angeles or New York imports these cameras, and they give their buddy up over in uh, Hong Kong a call, and then they like import all these much cheaper cameras, and then they sell the cameras and undercut the piss out of everybody else, that creates a problem because there are all these distributors retailers and marketers and uh, people that wholesale to the retail distributors what that does is that sticks uh, that sticks a jellyfish right down the front of their panties and it stings them in the crotch that is the issue for these camera companies okay when Joe Schm and this is why the company is suing it's not because there's any such thing as a different gray market camera this model of camera USA or, or Asia it's all the same damn camera it's the same stuff, okay? The issue for them, and it is very understandable for them, okay, very understandable, is that when Joe Schmuck imports those cameras, you're, you're just dropping a jellyfish right down the crotch behind the underwear. You pull someone's underwear back and you would stick down like a, a, a stinging jellyfish in someone's underwear. That's what is going on. You see that it, dis it disrupts and it pisses off the distributors, the retailers, the importers of the genuine USA warranted material. Okay, It causes issues. Like, why, why would I buy that $2,000 camera? I can get a gray market one for $1,500. So this is why the company that makes these cameras are suing them. You know, From their standpoint, it's completely logical, and you've got to understand as a camera company, you have to represent... These there's these uh, dealers that go around. There's uh, like uh, camera representatives that take orders, and uh, you know if uh, Joe blows, like I'm just going to save myself four hundred dollars and buy the imported gray market. That creates issues all down the pipeline, and that is no good. It also kind of messes with the company image because then somebody could like have an issue like four months later, and they send in the camera. And then the camera company goes, I'm sorry, sir, but you're screwed because you bought a gray market camera because we looked at the serial number and there's no way in hell that this originated for the United States market. And they're like, well, you're not sticking that for my camera. I, I paid a lot of money for this camera and you're not going to warranty it? No, we're not because you didn't buy this camera legitimately. And then that person goes online and they pound on the, I hate this camera company now because I bought one of their cameras and, 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 and you know, it's only been four months and like, and and then they're not fixing it. See that it creates all sorts of problems for the camera company. So both things, one thing is totally incorrect, and there's a website that's reporting that uh, this camera company is suing these importers, and they have the right to do that. You know, it's their product uh, to sue them for importing gray market stuff, but it is also 100% a lie. 
that, uh, let's say if it's a D500, which I'm not talking about the D500, you know, there's not two different assembly lines for two different, like, well, here's the D500 for the United States, and here's a different D500, comes off a different assembly line for Asia, and, no, that crap doesn't exist in any camera company, so that is a lie, camera's the camera's the camera, you know, as long as it's new, okay, and it works, it's the same camera off the same assembly line, okay, or multiple assembly lines, depends on how popular my, but it's all the same thing. The issue is exactly what I told you. It creates enormous headaches for them, support, distributors, representatives, retailers, importers, and Joe Blow that calls in. He's like, I need a fix on my camera. And, and then, like, read off me the serial number. It's like, oh, no, we can't fix that for you. That's a gray market camera. Ah. Oh. Now, in the case of Fuji, and there's a link on somewhere on their website that says, if you, like, take a trip, a vacation to Asia, and you, like, I don't know, you buy a Fuji... I can't remember what the specific word, word, wording is on Fuji's website, but it says if you, like, got proof that you bought it over there, you're, like, on vacation or something like that, then we'll warranty it for you. It says something like that. Okay? It says if you're over there and you bought it, that's different. But, uh, so that's the reason for that. All these people that are trying to scare you off of gray market, it, not, not nonsense. There is one exception for that, and that's, like, the D750. There are all these gray market D750s. And those cameras suck because what they are are they are since uh, there are a few defects, few defective recalls in the D750. Almost all of the Nikon D750s are these uh, recalled or meant should have been recalled D750s that are being sold, and they are new, but they are new defectives. So that's different. So see, when you buy a gray market D750, that's why. I I recommend gray market all day long, but not gray market D750 because that's a special exception. All of the gray market ones of those, like 99% of them, are defective. They come from England and Europe, and they are first generation defective or second generation defective. One was the sensor bay reflection. The other one was the defective shutter assembly defect in the D750. So, no, can't recommend that one. So there are exceptions to gray market. Uh, but as far as the same camera, you know, like, it is being said and implied that there are two different cameras. You know, this is the USA model, you know, X model, whatever, or this is the Asian, European. No, that crap is untrue. That, that, that does not exist. It's hogwash. It's rubbish. It's nonsense. It's, but, that's an incorrect tactic. What? the company should do is just say, hey, this creates enormous logistic nightmares for our distributors, our retailers, and our distributors, and uh, this is why we're suing their butt off, and it's their, their right to sue them. It's their product. If they want to sue somebody for selling imported cameras, it's their product. they got every right to do it. But what I'm saying is that, no, there's not two different camera models. That's absolutely not true. Okay, bye.